Tuberculosis is an infectious disease caused by the germ with the scientific name Mycobacterium tuberculosis or TB germ for in layman's terms. It affects the lungs uh, mostly. So of all the TB disease, say about 90% will be in the lungs. And uh, it is a potentially fatal disease. Before the days uh, of chemotherapy when the drugs for TB were not available, uh, maybe about half the patients would die in about five or six years. TB is a very slow, indolent disease which sort of grumbles along. Yeah, it infects people and stays quiet within the body. In most people, it stays quiet forever. In other words, I could be infected by the TB germ and I'm completely unaware of it and I die of normal death in the age of 80. So I can carry latent TB disease for the whole life with no ill effect. However, about 10% of people do develop into active TB disease and this is the form that we are afraid of. Because this is the form that kills and this is the form that spreads. So uh, active TB disease will manifest itself mainly by uh, lung associated symptoms and signs because that's where most TB, TB disease resides. So patients will complain of, complain of a long cough so therefore any person with an unexplained cough for more than three weeks from a country where there is TB uh, this diagnosis should be considered very seriously. It also causes a cough with blood in the sputum uh, and uh, you can also do things like uh, breathlessness and uh, fever, night sweats, weight loss, loss of appetite, and a whole host of all these complaints. So those would be the symptoms of active TB disease. Cases get TB from another active TB case. There is no animal vector, no mosquitoes, cows and pigs and horses and whatever to blame. It's just another human being with infectious TB. When they cough, little microscopic droplets are expelled into the air in terms of millions. And patients, and they behave like molecules floating around in the air. And if someone breathes in one of those little droplets called droplet nuclei, and it goes into the lungs, the TB germ can gain access into the body of the, of the, of the uh, person who breathed in the germ. So it's spread by uh, breathing in the air which is infected by another TB patient who has not been treated. Directly observed treatment means that a responsible and accountable healthcare worker gives all the pills to the patients correctly for the entire period of the TB treatment. As long as you are taken the medicines uh, regularly and you are compli compliant with all the doses, you are safe after two weeks. Mm. Yes. So whatever spread that may have happened would have happened before the start of TB treatment. When you are regular with the TB drugs, it is effectively like a chemical quarantine. You know, physical quarantine for infectious diseases is when you separate yourself from the rest of the community so that you don't spread to other people. When you take the TB drugs, it's as if you're se separating yourself chemically. So, so other people are protected because you are taking the TB drugs regularly. Mm. And this is also the principle of DOT.